Hi everyone, I am excited today to share with you one of the most important books ever written about propaganda. Propaganda is an influential book by Edward Bernays, came out in 1928. The author is best known for his work in the field of public relations or simply propaganda. I'd like to start this video by highlighting the context of which the information shared in this book are referred to. In modern democracies like the United States, France, Germany and so on, the force that controls people and their opinions is propaganda. Propaganda means that instead of using violent tools and punishments to dare people to an idea or a belief, you use instead hidden forces that are going to propage your product, your idea, your service, your truth. These hidden forces are found in the media, the schools, the associations, the political parties, and so on. The literature from social science and psychological manipulation show enormous studies and experimentations of the techniques and methods by which people can be controlled and manipulated. In summary, the cultural, political, religious, and value system of each person is shaped and fixed mostly by their environment. This environment is dominated by powerful institutions that control different aspects of the public life as well as the private life. Just like in politics, in order for a business to thrive and keep its position in the marketplace, it is literally not enough to produce a good service or product, it is absolutely important to manage the people's opinion to react in favor to this business. To do so, this business should resort to a public relations council who is going to do the necessary research and work that are going to enable this business to appear positive, beautiful, helpful and all the constructive values to the public. Let's say for example that I run a cosmetics business. In order for me to draw attention among the public or among my target, and since today it takes extraordinary attractions to get attention, I need support. I need good publicity, I need good opinions that's going to influence my target to adhere to my products, I need to be visible and well presented. So for me to achieve that, I need a public relations council who's going to analyze my target, the leaders of opinion that my target listens to and adheres to, the channels that my target watches, the values that my target respects, the beliefs that my target believes in and likes to hear and so on. The Public Relations Council will then provide me the information regarding all these aspects including the modern media of information that I need to know and work with to get my target there to my product. Why there? Because I need my target to not only buy the current product I am promoting, but to keep following every new product my business is developing. That's what capitalism is all based on. It is question to make people continue to buy, because if we develop a propaganda that only makes people buy once, the capitalist business cannot survive. It is based on this logic of keep producing and keep selling in order to thrive. Edward Bernays explains that the relationship between business and the public can be healthy only if it is the relationship of give and take. As big business becomes bigger, the need for expert manipulation of its innumerable contacts with the people will become greater. So let's explain now, for example, how a chosen leader of opinion can influence a target to buy a cosmetics product to adhere to these products. Let's suppose that a business wants to promote a lipstick. This lipstick is red. As a public relations council, I need to think about a famous and influential person well known for her beauty, affinity, power, since the red color connotes temptation, power, beauty, and so on. I'm gonna pick up that famous and influential person known for these characteristics in order to show through this person the link between my product lipstick and her characteristics and social position, power, beauty, sexiness, and so on. So the public, when they see this famous person talking about her use of my lipstick and how she is satisfied with it, adore it, and so on, people in their minds are going to take a deep link between my lipstick, the leader of opinion who is promoting my lipstick, and the characteristic people love about this leader of opinion and think they're going to find it in my product. In the end of the day, 
We are not free in the choices we make, since we are surrounded by thousands if not tens of thousands of ads every day and everywhere we go. All these publicities expose ideas, values and products that influence our consciousness as well as in consciousness. The result that we become orientated in life towards what enterprises and politicians design for us with the help of the public relation councils. Edward Bernays gave the example of a man buying a suit of clothes, thinking that he is choosing according to his taste and his personality. But in reality, he may be obeying the orders of an anonymous gentleman tailored in London. However, and despite the determinism of the human condition that reflects the analyze of Edward Bernays, but also socialists and human researchers such as Pierre Bourdieu, propaganda can never be an exact science for the reason that its subject matter deals with human beings. So the research and the strategy that the public relation council provides to the company can sometimes lead to a failed communication and therefore make the business lose money or even position and consideration. There is always a way of independency and freedom in the different aspects of our lives. At least, this is how I like to perceive and think my life. I believe in the human spirit and how we can overcome all these pills that propaganda painted in our bodies and minds. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was valuable to you. Please subscribe, like and share this video with your followers. See you soon.